Yes, sir, Joel. You sure would have been proud of me. Doggone it, there I was standing up there in front of all them folks, and it was just a clapping and a cheering, and I stand up there bowing, and, and the more they'd clap and cheer and stomp, the more I'd bow. With, with, with that hat on? Oh, certainly not. Took the hat off and bowed like this. Bravo, 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 bravo. Hey, Adam, come on in and hear about my, my dream last night. Yeah, he, he was elected governor. Sure was. The whole state. Well, congratulations for bringing the territory up to statehood. That's right, it ain't a state yet. Well, it don't make no difference. It's just a dream anyhow, but it sure was a real one. You know, I'd clap for you if you'd stop bowing long enough to help me finish cleaning out these stalls. Oh, now, Joe, you should know better than Josh around with the governor. Why, he would never stoop so low to mess around and hey. Oh, now, Adam, that's where you're wrong, see? I, I told these folks I was a man of the people. I said, why, from humble beginnings, I rose to great heights. And you know something, brother? You are absolutely right. <laughs> Nothing, that burn it, Paul. That gum it, they just won't take nothing serious, that's all. These boys ripping you again. Oh, well, Pac, my dreamt he was the governor. Now that, that's that's the biggest whopper of a dream I ever heard in my life. <laughs> What's the matter with that dream? Hoss, I'd like you to do something for me. What's that, Paul? I want you to go by Jake Town's cabin. Has he moved back up there on Devil Wind Hill? No, no, no. I got a letter from him, though. His uncle is staying at the cabin for a little while, and uh, he'd like one of us to go by and, you know, see that they've got everything they need. They? Yeah, his uncle Phoenix is there with his granddaughter. Uh, a young lady by the name of uh, Amanda, I believe. Well, now, wouldn't it be more neighborly if we all went by? Yeah, I, I, I think Adam's right, Pa. You know, it gets pretty dangerous up there on Devil Wind Hill, that wind blowing one person alone. Now, Joseph, Joseph, you don't really believe that that wind could blow your brother Hoss away, do it? <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a little more faith in your brother, Joseph. Just as I have faith in you. In me? I have so much faith in you that I know deep down that you are going to stay here and clean up all these stalls. <laughs> and I know that you're going to have the south fence fixed before sundown. <laughs> you see, Joseph, that is what is known as faith. That's right, Paul. Man's got enough of it. Well, he, can, he can move mountains with it. Should we put that tea with? Oh, you unpacked last night, Grandpa. Don't you remember? Here it is. I unpacked? <laughs> what do <are> you know? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Amanda, how about making us a cup of good Boston tea? Ugh. Amanda, why, why aren't you wearing one of your dresses, darling? We are here for science, Professor Klump, not society. Hmm. Why don't you go back to Boston, darling? 
Grandpa, I do not want to talk about it. That pack of laughing hyenas. Ugh. Well, I'm an inventor. You, you, well, you just have to expect that. <laughs> yeah, expect people to call you a crackpot? And your own assistant to laugh in your face when one of your inventions blows up? Huh. And him marrying another girl and... Oh, uh, Amanda, how, how's the tea coming? Fine, Grandpa, just fine. I think I'll do a little bird watching while you're brewing. <laughs> oh, the tea, I mean, while you're brewing the tea, that's what I... My name is Cartwright. I, I'm from the Ponderosa. The Ponderosa. Yeah. My, my boss sent me out here to welcome you. We don't want no welcome. <laughs> ma'am. Now go on. Just get out of here. Go on. Yes, ma'am. You, you got a powerful good argument there, ma'am. Go on. Just keep right on going. Amanda! Stop it! Stop it! You'll kill me! Amanda! Just drop down. I'll catch you. Ma'am, if you'll just be quiet and calm, I'll help you. Sir, just roll right on off and I'll grab you. No, you have to speak up with Grandpa. Oh. Sir, if you'll just roll right on off, I'll grab you. Well, you don't have to shout. I'm not hard of hearing. My goodness. Don't you think I'm too big a bird? Ah, shucks, no. Just roll right on off. Come on. That's it. Stop it too, you being here, Mr. Uh, Cart Cartwright. Uh, Hoss, just call me Hoss. Oh, I'm uh, Professor Phineas T. Clump. Well, I'm, I'm happy to meet you, sir. Well, thank you, thank you. I can see you've already met my charming granddaughter, Amanda. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. Charming. Come on, Grandpa, let me take you back to the cabin. You might have hurt yourself. She's always clucking over me like a mother hen, you know. What about that tea you were brewing? Perhaps our friend here would care for some of it. Grandpa, remember what... Now, listen, we are really indebted to Mr. Cartwright. Now, let's show him some of that warm hospitality of the East. That would be nice. Well, that's, that's mighty nice of you, Professor, but... Well, I, I don't want to cause you any trouble. Well, it's no trouble. My goodness, it's good to be talking to a man again. <laughs> man. No! Yeah. Oh. Now I suppose you'd be worrying about me climbing that tree for my bird watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, why don't we why don't we move that ladder over? Say, that that's a sensational idea. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that myself? Oh, that'll be great. You have a very interesting name, horse. Yeah. Most people think it's horse, but it ain't. It's just plain horse. Oh no, not that one. Cartwright. Oh. Are you by any chance related to Edmund Cartwright? Well, not, not that I know of. Is he, <laughs> is he a friend of yours? Well, friend. Oh. oh, that I just could have touched the hand of this genius or shared in the secrets of his brilliant mind. You know, man had a this, brilliant mind. Is Ed Cartwright? Yes. Oh, there are men who walk among us like giants, horse. Giants. Why, he gave priceless gifts to the world. You <laughs> know. Well, you take the loom, for instance. Who else would have thought of using machines for spinning cotton? This, this Ed Cartwright? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what about his alcohol-fueled engine? There's no telling where that one will end, you know. You don't say. Oh, he's brilliant, man. I hope to use the Cartwright engine on one of my inventions. <laughs> you, uh, 
You an inventor too, Professor? Whoa, inventing is my whole life, horse. Why, it's the only doorway left open for opportunity. Opportunity, huh? Hey, maybe we ought to shut the door so we can hear it knocking. <laughs> Let's see if the tea is ready. Follow me, horse. <laughs> Ah, my clump mobile, you know. There I was, lined up between two horse-drawn carriages. <laughs> How they laughed at me. <laughs> well, Professor, this, this clump mobile, it didn't have no horse at all? No, it was a completely horseless carriage. Oh, how, how'd it do in the race? It blew up right in their faces. Boy, I nearly scared the pants off it. Pardon me, Grandpa. Well, it, it did just about that. Anyway, we we came out here to be away from people, you see. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, Professor, you ain't gonna try to get that clump mobile started again, are you? Oh, for heaven's sakes, no. That's a thing of the past. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going into space now. Grandfather, you promised. <coughs> Why, that's the longest devil wind yet. This is the season, you know. The wind only comes up the hill twice a day. Yeah, well, uh... Thank you a whole lot, Professor, for the tea. I, I reckon I'd better be heading on out. Oh, I'll... No, 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 don't leave. Why, you haven't seen my invention. But, Professor, I think I no, better be... No, listen. You are going to be one of the first to lay your eyes on the greatest gift known to mankind. This is the most important invention since the wheel. Important? The most important. I'm a modest man, Horace, but, uh, but I tell you, that the future of the world is out there in that shed. And this is your opportunity to see it. You know, I can almost hear it knocking right now. Let's go, Professor. <laughs> You prepare yourself for the greatest sight since the days of Leonardo da Vinci. Who? Leonardo da Vinci, the great painter of the Mona Lisa. Oh, oh yeah. And he was also a marvelous inventor, you know. Yeah. Oh, he was centuries ahead of his time. Now, you just get ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Look! What is that contraption? Well, I, I haven't named it yet. But soon they'll take me soaring over mountains and valleys. <laughs> you mean those are... those are your flying machine? Well, uh, they will be as soon as I can come up with some means of strapping them on, yes. Are you, uh... you sure it'll work? Well, I'm as sure as Da Vinci was. Horse, look here. See that? Man has known for hundreds of years that he could fly. All that's been needed is uh, just one courageous soul to prove it. <laughs> yeah. You mean, you mean to tell me this has been going on all this time and I didn't even know nothing about it? Well, it's, it's, it's a very simple principle. It's like uh, flying a kite. You see, the wind strikes an obstacle and it splits and it flies over and under it. And behind the object, well, the air pressure lessens. Besides that, nature hates a vacuum. So it rushes in to replace it. And the back end of the kite goes up, or, or in this case, the man. Yeah. I, I never thought about it. <laughs> and all you need is a harness, huh? Well, or, or something to to fasten them together and on me, yes. <laughs> Professor, I got an idea. I think there's going to be another Cartwright to get into this invention business. If it's good enough for Ed Cartwright, it's good enough for Hoss Cartwright. Come on. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> you 
two doing? <laughs> Horse, horses inventing a, a, a harness here for the wings, you know. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you look so silly. Well, I feel silly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so silly. Come on, Horace. <laughs> It'll never work. We can all three get in that with room left over. Yeah. Man, we, we, don't, we don't need all of this. See, I'll take some of that off, and when I get back to Ponderosa, I'm going to make a lariat, and I can cinch it up tight, and it'll fit him as tight as it did the horse. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's a new Cartwright invention. The horse Cartwright harness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm only going back to Ponderosa and get that, that lariat made. Well, uh, uh, thank you, Hoss Cartwright. Uh, I guess maybe I should apologize for the way I welcomed you. I mean, since you didn't turn out to be one of those laughing hyenas. Yeah. What? Well, you know, like in Boston. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll see you, man. Amanda! Here, here, Grandpa, I'll help you. Come oh, on. Thank you. Oh, Doug, how come you're always half a jump ahead of me? Because I'm half again as smart as you are. Hey, horse, how about a game of checkers? No, thank you, Joe. I, I got a bunch of work here I got to do. All right, come on, let's have one more. All right, one more try, that's it. What are those folks like up on uh, Devil Wind Hill? Just ordinary folks, I reckon. What's the daughter like? Oh, well, she's about yay high and yay wide. <laughs> So's the corral gate. Yeah, what's she look like? Well, she's, she's got brown hair. Shimmering around her shoulders, soft and sweet. No, sort of like a, sort of like a school marm does it. That's what it's like, yeah. A top knot? A school marm? Well, I, I reckon the specs maybe reminds me of a school marm a little bit, too. She's awful smart, awful smart. That does it, your move. Sounds like a real beauty. Adam, next time you're in town, pick up the bills at the general store, will you? Right. Whew. And Larry? Yes, yeah, sort of. What for? Hornets. Pretty thin, isn't it? Oh, he's got a pretty thin horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, Paul, huh? we got any kinfolk in England? Well, might have. Name Cartwright goes way back, why? Yes. Yeah, just wondering if we're any kin to that, that Edmund Cartwright. You mean the man who invented the loom? Yeah, that's no. all. <laughs> he, uh, he also invented an engine that, that uses alcohol for fuel. Ain't no telling where that's gonna end. What kind of fuel you been using lately? <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? It's Grandpa. He's stuck. Stuck? In the tree. He tried without the lariat. You mean he tried to... And I can't get him down. Is there something we can do? <laughs> no, no, Paul, I'll take care of it. Come on, Miss Amanda. Get up! Get up there! Well, imagine trying to climb a tree without a lariat. Imagine thinking she looks like a school mom. Oh, 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 good evening, horse. It seems we're always meeting at opposite ends of a tree. <laughs> well, it, it, it sure does at that. I, I thought she was going to wait for the lariat. What's that? 
I say, I thought you was going to wait for the lariat. Oh, I just wanted to make a small flight from the lower branches, <laughs> the tree. Uh, look, Professor, can, can you get your arms out of them wings? Oh, I'm afraid not. See, I strained my latissimus dorsi there. You what? My latissimus dorsi, I strained it. Maybe I ought to go get a doctor, huh? Oh, no, that, that won't be necessary, horse, no. You see, it's just that I can't lift that arm, but it, it'll be all right, it'll heal. I, I wrenched a muscle, you see. Yeah, well, we'll have to do it another way. Well, be careful with him, horse. Yes, sir. Here, with it, with it. Oh, by the way, horse, you know, your idea for the harness, smashing success. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it looks a little smashed. <laughs> well, what about the wings? Oh, there's just a few feathers missing, that's all. You see, it's my own wing that I'm worried about, this one here, you see. Lift that other arm, Professor. Oh, I can. Oh, Grandpa. No, oh, I can't. It's... How long does it take that, that latimus or thing or whatever you call it, how long does it take that to heal? Oh, about a month, maybe more. I'll miss that devil win for sure, you know. It only lasts another week. You mean we can't do it? Well, I can. I can. You know, horse, I was just thinking. You're not going to see man in flight after all. <laughs> Too bad, of course, unless someone else decides to do the honors, you know. Yeah. Dad, Burnett, that's too bad, Professor. Well, I'll do it, Grandpa. <laughs> Miss Amanda, you're a girl. Well, what's that got to do with it? Professor, will you tell her that this is a man's job? All right, what man will do it? Me! Me? Hey, horse! Horse! Adam, you seen horse? Oh, you mean our brother, the one that uh, wants to be taken seriously? Well, who else do I mean? He's out there. Hmm. What's he doing? He's flying a kite. Hold this for me, will you? What is it? It's a book Hoss was reading. Birds of the Western World. Hey, what's, uh, what's happening, Hoss? Oh, nothing. Dad, Barney. Joe, you know anything about these things? I've been running 40 miles of this this morning. Ain't got it over knee height. Hmm. Oh, that's a, that's a real nice one. Yeah, yeah that's a nice one. It's, it's a well-made one. Great day for flying. Yeah. Joe, hmm? if I was to tell you something, a big secret, would you, would you promise not to laugh at me? Horse, have I ever? You know I won't laugh. What is it? Well, you know that Professor Clump up on Devil Wind Hill? Well, he's got this invention, see? It's gonna change your world, Joe, the whole dang world. And I'm gonna fly it. Fly, fly it? Yeah. That's what I'm doing out here this kite. I'm trying to feel out the wind a little bit. I'm gonna fly, Joe, like a bird. And then I'm gonna be one of them, one of them giants among men. <laughs> What's a dead bird, funny? Put salt on my tail? Now, Joe, I mean it. That burn it. Stop it. All right, all right. I'm just joshing you. All right, I ain't. Now, you say it. You say, horse is going to be a giant among men. Now, say it. Uh, horse is going to be a giant bird. <laughs> a giant among men. Now, say it. Oh, you 300-pound robin. All Fantastic. right. Come on. No. Hey, no, no. Under the water truck. Not the water. You're going to say it. Oh, come now, on. One last time. You're going to say it? Say, horse is going to be a giant among men. Now, say it. Probably want a cracker? <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. Oh. Now, are you going to say it? Oh. You going to say it? Cool, cool. Well. Oh, hi, Paul. be so bold as to ask what what this is all about. Well, Dad, burn it, Paul. I'm just trying to teach him to take me a little more seriously, that's all. Oh, I see. And at the risk of sounding perhaps a little foolish, does, does this belong to you? Perhaps, just perhaps, if you were to act a little more seriously, maybe people would take you a little more seriously. Buck, come on. Forget it. <laughs> I'll teach you. I'll teach you. can't understand it. He, he knows we're testing today. And... Oh, Grandpa, you don't suppose he's like the others? I mean, only humoring us? Oh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll be here, darling. He promised, didn't he? Oh, do I look all right? Oh, you look just... Why, Amanda, darling, what, what have you done to yourself? Well, I've gone and decided to look like a girl. Oh. I mean... Pretty. Is it all right? All right. <laughs> Goodness me. All right. <laughs> Why, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You look just like your mother used to, you know? <laughs> yeah. Is it horse? Oh, he's so big and brave. Grandpa, he's just wonderful. Yeah. Well, the world is full of wonderful men. If you just look around, big, brave, wonderful men. <laughs> but I guess you've met enough of the other kind, huh? Yeah. But that's all over now, is it? No more suspicion? No more distress? And no more going after strangers with a gun, either. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, Professor. Hello, Hawes. Miss Amanda. Howdy. Uh, this here is my little brother, Joe. He's a Cartwright, too. Ain't you, Joe? Uh, yeah, that, that's what my daddy calls me. This was supposed to be a secret. Amanda, aren't you going to say hello to the new guest? Oh, um... Uh... How do you do, little Joe? I don't believe we ever met formally. Well, ma'am, I, I don't believe we have. Hi. Okay. Oh. Horse, uh, you haven't told little Joe about, uh, you know... Flying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, I told him, Professor. You did, eh? And didn't, didn't he... Uh, laugh? Nah, not little Joe. He ain't got a laughing bone in his body. Ain't that right, little brother? Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they call me old sober sides. What do you think of your big, brave brother flying? Oh, Ma'am, there's nothing I'd rather see than my big brother taking a flying leap. Oh, well, that's wonderful. That's marvelous. Come on, come on, Amanda. Let's get to the test. Come on. Oh, no. No, you don't. 
Come on, put that horse right over there. You ain't getting out of my sight until after I make that test flight. You can go back and tell Paul and Adam and everybody now. Put that horse up. My wing, of course. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. I'm just making a few improvements, you know. Oh, incidentally, horse, I hope you don't mind, but I ran short of cash down the general store and I charged all our supplies to your account. I wouldn't have done it except that the things we needed were really urgent. Well, it's, it's all right, Professor. Amanda, will you run in and get seventeen dollars and uh, and forty cents for horse? Oh, sure, Grandpa. Your brother got to be very important man in these parts. Oh, there, there won't be a person around who hasn't heard of horse Cartwright when we get finished. Yeah, I, I imagine you're right. There's not too many folks in these parts who fall out of trees all over the place. Not fall out, little brother. Fly out. F L Y. Fly. 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 I'm sorry. That's what I meant. Fly. Yes, fly. That's what he said, and that's what it is. Oh, the vistas that horse will open up for the whole world. Think of it, little Joe. Man spanning mountains and rivers and whole territories in one day. Why, flight will open up the locked doors to weary travelers and industry and commerce. <laughs> industry and commerce? Of course. No more mule trains carrying supplies over rocky terrains. No more weary buckboard rides into the nearest town. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When this flight is over, man will be as free as a bird. Oh, uh, nothing's free, Professor. Huh? I said nothing is free, Professor. What, what, what are you, you going to call this thing? Well, I, I hadn't mentioned it yet, but... Uh... Here, Grandpa. Oh, thank you. There you are, horse. I have an idea, though. <laughs> I shall call it the horsemobile. The horsemobile? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the mobile for movability and the horse for the man who's making the whole thing possible. The horsemobile. That's a wonderful name, Grandpa. Yeah, it's the kind of name nobody could forget. Well, we'll, we'll need something to transport the wings, you know. Oh, would you bring that ladder, little Joe? Oh, sure thing. Professor. How are we going to get the wings up in that tree? Tree? What? The tree? Yeah, well, the one where you jumped. Oh, Grandpa was just testing the harness in the tree. The flight is going to be from Devil Wind Cliff. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Watch out for these sticks, Hoss. Hey, how heavy is this sack, Professor? Oh, about the same weight as horse. I picked it very carefully. Our tests have to be extremely scientific, you know. Yeah, what do we have to have a test for, anyway? Well, you don't think I'd let the boy go off without one, do you? Well, why not? <laughs> You see, science, science is based on experiment. See, uh, foolproof tests before we allow humans to participate. It's a sort of a trial and error. Hey, well, let's hope horses' flight's a trial and not an error. <laughs> now, look, horse, you just keep here. The wings here, take them right to the edge, and you wait for the devil wind to start. Okay. Can you handle it? Yeah. Hello? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a big bird. Yeah. Grandpa, I can hear the devil wind now. Here it comes. Here it comes, horse. Push the wings over. Give it a shove. We did it! Tomorrow, my boy, you 
will be the sack of grain. <laughs> So, so fast, anyhow. A uh, necessity, brother, necessity. How am I gonna get you off that cliff if I don't get these wings patched up from the test? Yeah. The test. Look. Little Joe, maybe there's something you ought to know. You know that book I've been studying, that, that bird book? Mm-hmm. Well, it's up in the hayloft, back at the house. And folded inside the pages are my last will and testimony. Just in case something goes wrong. Goes wrong? What do you mean goes wrong? I got a lot of plans made. Plans? Yeah, plans. Oh, that professor makes a lot of sense. If you just listen to him, you have to listen. I did. Well, then you must yeah. realize there's a tremendous future in this flying business. Tremendous. We'll make a fortune. Flying? Sure, flying. Look, after you make this first flight, horse, we make our own wings then. For what? For you. Horse, I, I can rent you out all over this territory. I can rent you out for, for errands. Are I can rent you out for circuses. You rotten, scheming little... You think I'd go through this again, rest my neck for, for money? Well, why not? You're doing it today for nothing. Oh, I see you finished there. Well, uh, I'm just about finished, Professor. The horse seems to be all thumbs today. Oh, well, I'd beat myself, son, if I were about to fly. <laughs> Say, little Joe, will you, will you finish that other one there? Sure. Thanks a lot, because the horse has to get his final instructions. <laughs> Gee, how I envy you. <laughs> I wish I were the one going into space. Yeah, so do I. Huh? I just said it. I love to fly. Oh, oh, well, that's wonderful. Come on. I'll take you over there. You see, when you get up on top of the hill, now this devil wind, are you listening to me, horse? Horse. You see, the devil wind comes up twice. Hey, horse. Joe! Hey, I want you. Hey. Well, not that again. Last will and testimony. Now look, horse, if you, if you land on the slope, you know, keep flapping. Don't let the wings drag you. You control them. You see, a bird in landing, well, he uses his feet. He lands on his feet. You do the same. You land on your heels, and that'll keep you from falling on your face. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, I'll go and see if the wings are ready. You know, I think you might practice. <laughs> it won't hurt any, anyhow. Fine horse? No, but he'd better have a pretty good explanation for buying these little things from the general store. Just read that. Three dozen ladies' corset stays, two egret plumed hats, one dozen goose feathered pillows, and a 250 pound sack of grain. Has he gone right out of his mind? Ah, oh, yes, his mind. Look at that. Last will and testament. I, Hoss Cartwright of Virginia City, Territory of Nevada, declare this to be my last will and testimony. Now, what's all this about? Ladies' corsets, pillows, whole trousseau, 
And then the will. Well? Haven't you ever heard of a shotgun wedding? A horse? <laughs> no, no. It's either get married or get shot. So, the will. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We got any better ideas? No. But we can sure find out. Joe, I, I just can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? There's nothing to it. If it's so easy, then how about you taking my place, huh? No, no, don't you get the point? Someday, maybe we'll want to carry passengers. You're the only bird big enough to do it. Oh, golly, horse, you look wonderful. Oh. Hey, that, that's almost worth flying for. But the rewards will be much greater than a mere kiss. Oh. Oh, oh gee, horse, that was fun. <laughs> Oh, but we've got more important things to do. Come on. Come on. <laughs> to the runway, man. What do you mean by the runway, Professor? The, the path I cleared. <laughs> See, now, horse will run right down to the edge and then take off. That's it. <laughs> horse. Horse, I want you to give it all you got. Really go, horse. Now, remember, horse, it's like diving into the water. That's all it is. <laughs> Professor, I can't even swim. Oh, don't worry about swim, horse. Just flap, brother. Just flap. Listen. Oh, that's the devil wind starting up now. I think. Grandpa's gonna be a big one! <laughs> now, get on your mark. All right, horse, wings up. All right, let's go now. Come on, on your mark. Get set. Get it all you got, horse! <laughs> go ahead, horse. <laughs> Biggest bird I ever saw. That's no bird. That's your brother. Hey!
us! Down here! <laughs> Get a rope. I see you're playing this game too, Joseph. Uh, me? No, no, not exactly, Pod. It was Professor Klump's invention. I think I'll go help Adam. There's a Klump. Yes. Oh, Mr. Cartwright. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Professor Clun. Oh. Yes, your son just took a, a plunge toward immortality. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like he almost made it. Oh, what's been going on up here? Why, didn't you know? This was Horse's big opportunity to prove that man can fly. <laughs> man can fly? Yeah, but unfortunately... The... Hey, Professor! Professor, we did it! We did it! We did? Yeah! Didn't you see? Oh, hi, Paul. You all right, son? Yeah. See what, horse? Professor, I, I'd have flown all the way to Virginia City if that wind hadn't pushed me down. What? Yeah. yeah. Didn't anybody see it? That burner that took off like I shot out of a cannon. And the wind stopped the flight? Sure did. Professor, that wind ain't no good whatsoever for flying. No, sir. What a man needs is a feller to fall on a ladder like little Joe did. That's what's going to make a man fly. Oh, uh, uh, a fulcrum. Well, bless my soul, I never... A fulcrum of all things. <laughs> sure, yeah. What's a fulcrum? Oh, a lever, you know, the catapult principle. Oh, I see that you have a scientific mind, too, Mr. Cartwright. Say, Amanda, we're going to Washington. We'll get this thing patented. And maybe we can get some financial interest. Now? Yeah, why not? They may call me a crackpot, but I don't care. Let them. I've seen it done. Now, go ahead, dear, and pack. Go on. I'll write to you, I promise. Horse, the world owes you a debt. A big debt. You know, we... Where's Ben? You know, we should have gone further than Da Vinci. We should have gone all the way back to Archimedes. You mean, give me a fulcrum and I can move the world? Yeah, that's exactly what he said, Mr. Cartwright. <laughs> and that's just what Horse has proven. <laughs> Good boy, Horse. <laughs> Paul, uh, you ain't mad, are you? Well, how can I be mad at a man who has so much faith in science and so much faith in my son? Oh, shucks, Paul. He, he didn't know how scared I was until I landed. Hey, hey, there's just one thing I want to know. Now, were you just humoring that old man, or did, did you really fly? Well, little brother, like I always told you, you got to have faith. Why, with faith, you can, you can move them out. Yeah, up you go. Don't fly away again. What do you think? Well, I'll, uh, I'll go along with that faith-moving mountains, but uh, flying over them? I don't know, Adam. I just don't know.